and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Well guys, I am wearing the new summer top. <laughs> I feel like I could have made it a little wider just so that it would have more of a boxier look, but hey, it actually is perfect for this, but I think I will make another one that's a little boxier, probably in a different color. I have just on like a little white tank top on underneath this, and just so that you can see the stitching, how beautiful this is. So I didn't do anything to the neckline. I just left the, um, the last row that was on there. And for here, I added three rows of single crochet is all. And I didn't do anything to the bottom because I worked in what you call the back bump. So I didn't have to do anything to that. Now, um, I've already filmed the tutorial, so it should be coming out. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out tomorrow, but hopefully I'll be able to get it out, you know, really quick because I do have it all filmed and ready to just edit it and uh, put it together for you guys. So I hope you like this. Um, here's the back side. It's just two panels that I put together and um, it's based on your own measurements, guys. Your own measurements. So that's what's cool about it. So yeah, this, you know, it could go in a little bit more um, but I do want mine a little boxier. If you make yours a little boxier, your shoulders will hang down, you know, even longer. And if you, you're uncomfortable with having short sleeves like this. Now, I made mine because I wanted it for summertime so that I can, um, especially when I'm out traveling, I can just put a tank top underneath or if I want to wear my bathing suit underneath it, I can do that as well. And just be comfortable because it's got all these big old holes. So it's, breezy <laughs> and um that that was my goal is to have something that had a lot of holes so i don't feel like i'm wearing a lot of yarn <laughs> and where i can't breathe and so um yeah so this is made with cotton yarn and some silk 22 percent silk for the yarn that i chose if i were you and you were making this for summer i probably would go ahead and use some cotton yarn if you can uh, if you have to use acrylic, that'll be fine too, because it does have, you know, the big hose in it. So that's, you know, that's the saving grace on it. <laughs> okay, guys, that's really all I want to talk about. Um, I guess, well, I could show you the hook. So get ready in case you want to make this. I'm using a, I used a J 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I use a lot of different brands of hooks, but I have to admit this soft clover is probably one of my favorite, um, I do like the, what do you call that? I, have, I don't have one in here right now that I'm working with. Um, but the tulip, the red tulip, um, I really do like those as well. So uh, the yarn that I'm using, this is a three weight yarn because since it's summertime, you want it to be, you know, a thin yarn. You don't want big, heavy yarn. You're using a four weight yarn. Um, I guess that would be okay too. Um, it is based on your own measurement. So, if you use a full weight yarn, then, um, you know, you're going to measure what you need for from side to side anyway. And um, anyway, so I'm using the Friends Cotton Silk, but I do plan on, like I said, I like this so much. I plan on making several more of these um, and not just in sh having the stripe on them, but maybe even a solid color or even blocking them, having three sets of colors like that. I think that'd be great too. Um, let's see. Oh, and then since it's, a panel of five of repeats. One, two, three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Um, who knows? It'd be kind of cool if you had five different colors. That would be really cool. Okay, so I'm using the Friends Cotton Silk is what I used on this. And there's only one row of green. You can barely even see it down there. Or two rows of green. And they're half double crochet rows. I just threw that in just to have a little bit of color but um, I didn't want the whole thing to be real colorful. I want it to be muted. <laughs> so that's why I chose the, the light gray. All right, guys, um, yeah, just stay tuned for that. And I um, don't think I really have anything else. Oh, 
the kitchen towel, hanging kitchen towel holder, and I made a matching washcloth. I don't think I've showed that to you guys yet. So I will show that to you guys uh, next week and um, get that tutorial going for you. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all that I have for this video. I just wanted to show off the uh, new sweater, summer top, rather. Show that off to you guys, and hopefully you will make it and put it in my Facebook group page. I think you'll be very, very happy with this. It is very easy and it works up so fast because I made sure I put lots of holes in it. So anytime you work with a project that's got lots of holes, your project will go really quick. So, all right guys, that's all that I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Just remember to live life and to have fun and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.